Hi everyone, so today I'm going to take you through newborn essentials that I have learned by being a new mom. Uh, this is for anyone who's a new mom, a new dad, uh, anyone who is expecting their baby, the mom or the dad, anyone who wants to take uh, gifts to your friend who's expecting a baby or is, or is a new mom and just anyone who wants to learn something new. So I have set, you can't see it, but I have set a couple of things here for that I used personally for baby Ari. Um, I will tell you what my preferences are. You can remember that uh, these essentials, they can differ from place to place. So I've just, uh, from mom to mom, but I've just, uh, just organized some that I think you really require and yeah i hope you learned something take a pen and paper i also i did a lot of research when i was doing this so yeah take a pen and paper especially if you're a new mom or you really require this information and or you can just watch the video over and over just to see a couple of things that you may need and i'll start with the newborn essentials um the first things are vests that you need this is how the vests are or the shirts, the undershirts. Uh, these ones, they can be replaced by uh, the onesies or the bodysuits. And honestly speaking, this is what I prefer. This is what I mostly used, even if I had all of this. Because, I don't know, it, it sits. Because you see, you can, you can sort of, uh, it has this. What are they called? They are safety, they are, they are the uh, pins, so you can pin them in. So it goes, you know, the baby's legs are here. So it's usually very more, it's preferable to me than the vest because this shifts. This will stay intact and in one place. So I used to prefer this. Alternatively, if you like the vest, you can get such vests, which still have, you know, something to lock the baby up so that the baby is nice and cozy and they don't have the the vest going up and down because you know of the changing and there's a lot of movement as regards the baby and if you want something that is warmer you can use this which is something like this it has this extension over here that you will use to sort of clip up like that and this is what was preferable to me so if you're able to get this i i think the bodysuits and the onesies i use them more uh compared to the vests so that's what i use so those are some of the clothes these are the clothes you need internally i also used uh of course you need rompers uh for when they're newborn uh babies are very tiny so get such rompers i loved 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 using rompers but get different sizes when they're born there are some are tiny some are taller of course the of course even babies they're, they're not the same size newborns so get different sizes i have like a cute a cute one look at this it was super cute but i never got to wear it because it was too small for her because uh, yeah she was taller than this when she was born so get different sizes because again you don't know what how 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 big your baby is going to be or how small so ensure you have different sizes but uh generally newborns are, are pretty tiny so <laughs> get different sizes and you can also get the before i got baby ari let me tell you i preferred you see this like this it's a romper but it's the one that's open on the foot i preferred this one because i thought that uh when when as she goes as she grows longer uh, taller sorry i will use the i will use it longer because the leg is open but they still get small once it's small it's small because you see there is this part over here it becomes smaller so if you can i think it's preferable i preferred the ones that are closed down here because the baby is warm all through when you're using these ones you can use the socks uh, and they're good for when it's hot but when it's cold i think it's even snugglier for the baby when the baby is just in one romper so this is more preferable so i got more of this uh, first i thought i got more of this because i thought this was uh, good but later on i got this which was better for me and another thing that i did is for the rompers the ones with hoodies i really love them especially when she's sleeping or when it's cold because you know you need uh you need baby hats but one that is a hoodie it's like one outfit in one 
she get you do like the romper inside and she wears this and you're done you know and maybe a sweater depending on the weather but like one with a hoodie is perfection so you can get one that are warmer or ones that are light but still have a hoodie so she wore the heck out of these ones because i really really love them so now the hats get hats for the baby when they are born uh, the heads are different sizes as well so get different sizes of hats and the head grows as the baby grows so yeah so it depends so when ari was born she was wearing uh, small sizes uh, her dad got her these ones and i love them if you can get such they are so super they're amazing because uh the baby she you keep shifting her head or her head keeps shifting you keep shifting her head because she's still not moving her head so when you, you're shifting her head the heart sort of slips off but this helps the heart to still like stay in her body uh, i don't know if you can fit it can't it stays in her body so what you, you just once it falls you just slip it back on and it's this long so that it doesn't choke the baby so you can also get such and you can just tie down here just make sure it's not something that is uh, that can choke the baby but when she's sleeping you can do the these ones just to avoid the choking hazard uh, uh, possibility so yeah these are the ones so they're super super comfy but if you can get these ones you will love them this you will love them baba ari got these ones for her okay get uh pajamas these are some of ari's pajamas look at how cute i find all baby clothes super cute so these were some of ari's pajamas then depending on the weather get her the warm ones i think these ones you get everywhere baba ari calls this one a space suit it doesn't fit it doesn't fit Ari anymore but it's super warm like you see and the cap and then you see when they're sleeping and then uh for example like now Ari she's almost five she's shifting and moving and uh when you're just covering her and maybe it's okay and you're sound asleep because we'll be sleeping she's still warm in case badwa jafuni kwana blanketi so this is a very very good uh thing to have for sleeping or for me during the day depending on the weather if it's also hot make sure that they reach up to her neck so that they are warm because some clothes uh, some of them especially if they are big or if they're like wide neck like this one they will sort of come until here and you want the baby to be warm you want the cloth to cover up her chest because of course of the pneumonia and the colds and flus so you're avoiding that and in fact i wanted to show you of course you need the sweaters we got this sweater and we thought it's cute actually baba ari got it but you see this it's, it's a wide neck it's a wide neck so it's sort of we don't use it much when it's hot when it's cold because it's open and you want Ari to be warm you want your baby to be warm so unless you have you want to have to wear like a couple of clothes inside and then you can wear they you can put on this that's okay but I like the sweaters that are round neck so that it reaches up to here and it covers her chest so make sure you get sweaters that are round neck then that those were preferable to me and then other things you get of course are trousers look how cute those are get trousers uh, of course you can get open ones and she'll wear them with socks but i love these ones because very easy when you're lifting the baby they're just perfect i like the closed ones if you can get the closed option i think it's preferable to me but also when the baby grows uh, it's easier to have now the open open uh, option but the closed ones really worked better for me you can get stockings but honestly i never ever put ari in stockings hey baby i never <laughs> she's up i never put ari in stockings because of course you'll get zero to three months stockings but i never put her in stockings because honestly when they're newborns all you want is their comfort especially even the clothes they wear you really need to have like cotton uh cotton fabric or like a fabric that it is really smooth on their skin so uh the uh, stockings options option is there but i never really uh, put on any stockings uh, with ari you can use stockings when you have visitors that are coming to visit her and you put her in dresses that's another thing i never 
like used dresses to i never dressed ari up in dresses for the first let's say three months because your baby you just want comfort in fact mostly what i used was the rompers so yes i dressed ari more in rompers than skirts or i mean not skirts trousers or dresses i never did dresses as i said but rompers there yeah, because the baby is one like when you're lifting her unam chukwa tumoja as it it's more it was better for me just the romper so if you can just get a lot of these for the newborn especially until at least three months they were handy for me i loved them uh what else there's uh you can do socks i remember my friend gifted me these socks and my mama because it was like these socks in a casa dolly and these were the only socks that fit Ari when she was born. They are so super tiny. But I also thought so I didn't know Ari would fit. But like they're literally this tiny. And this is what Ari used to wear when she was born. She was super tiny. Alternatively, you can get booties. They're super super cute. Uh yeah, so they look like that. But I prefer this is me socks because right now Ari is moving when they as they grow they move their heart, their feet a lot and the more she moves them and she wraps them against each other easy zinatoka especially if they're small they need to really be tight so easy they they leave her feet long so I, I keep on like kumbalisha all the time so socks are more preferable to me if your baby is a girl get cute socks yeah for yourself and for her uh get different sizes but like a friend got me these and uh, i thought they're small but ari still they're not even her size yet so babies are very small uh yeah get finally mittens yeah they keep her warm at night i i use them at night for ari uh to keep her warm uh to prevent her from eating her hands uh it's not worked so far especially when she discovered her hands she was just like putting them in her mouth but they are good also for making sure she doesn't scratch herself yeah this mittens and yeah i guess that's it for the clothes essentials uh, of course buy the clothes depending on your capability if you're on a budget you just buy enough for i will suggest maybe a week without needing to wash them uh if you're tighter three days and then just keep on washing your baby clothes put them separately from everyone else's uh again uh if you're on a budget if you want new clothes you can buy from isich or kamkunji they have favorable prices or uh if you want second hand you can you you can go to gikomba or toy market uh or you can do hand-me-downs ari has a couple of cute outfits that are hand-me-downs from our uh, friends who are already dads or moms so yeah you can do hand-me-downs let me tell you babies they do not wear their outfits for long they wanna kuwa haraka sana like me their clothes that ari wore once or twice nah she's already not even able to wear them there are some already she's not she never even wore because they were too small so these outfits she wears them like the baby will grow super fast and you know she needs them every day so if you can save money on on newborn clothes that's where you save it because they won't wear them forever and uh what else uh just make sure you wash them very well and you you know they are dry and you put them separately from everyone else's and you're good to go you can do the second hand you can do if, if you do not like second hand you can do the Isich or Gikomba, I mean Isich or Kamkunji, they have the new ones and their favorable prices. And basically that's it on the clothes. You can do also jackets. So I'll move on uh, to the sleeping essentials, what she needs when she's sleeping. Of course, she will need a, a baby coat. Uh, the baby coat we got there are a couple of cute ones that i see they are tiny they have the uh, different uh, colors and whatever this is what i would advise and this is what we got we got a really it we got a bigger baby coat that ari can sleep in up to even two four five years and uh, we figured that is it was a money saver for us because if you get the really tiny one she'll sleep in it for maybe until she's a few months or maybe a year and that's it on that 
uh if you want the cute one of course you can get them no problem if you're having a couple of babies and you'll transfer you can have the small one but we figured it's better for us to just buy the big baby coat one that she can use even when she's older and yeah and then also there's baby coat bumpers and there are a couple of people it's a controversial topic uh people fear that sometimes it can lead to seeds so make sure you get the bumpers that are really good like utazi funga kwa kitanda and they're firm because you don't want the baby moving and then maybe she chokes or uh, inamfunika and she can't breathe or anything so make sure they're nice nicely fitted and you can tie them on the bed i like them because in case the baby rolls hata gonga the bars of the baby cot you know she's protected and they are good when it's in the room it's cold it sort of protects i don't know i like them and i think they're cute another another reason i like the baby cot is this thing over here this i use a lot especially because of uh, when i'm putting ari on uh, tummy time when you put the baby on tummy time it's advised you can either put her flat or you can put her on a rolled up towel and look a rolled up towel looks like this so you put you just she can you can just place your baby on tummy time and support her on the chest with this in her hands as she learns it she she's able to stay tummy time longer because like ari she does not like her tummy time a lot of a couple of babies don't like their tummy time but when you support her she stays on tummy time for longer and you train her to stay up for longer so yeah this is why i like the baby cot when you're using a crib of course you'll need the mattress the crib mattress uh, make sure you have fitted sheets fitted because you don't want your baby rolling over or just moving and the sheet sort of maybe covers her you just make you want to make sure it is tightly tucked it's very nice and fitted then get uh, of course blankets but if you're on a budget and you can't get like, the fitted sheets you can use your own sheets or the sheets that you have in the house or you can buy just the normal sheets and then sort of tuck it in very well and make sure it's nice and perfect and you know it doesn't have even if the baby moves or you're moving the baby i talk honey then blankets you can use uh maybe the baby blankets or you can double up you can use a shawl the baby shawls as the blankets just make sure they're nice and fitted if you're on a budget there's the heavy ones uh the slightly heavy ones or <laughs> or the light ones uh then there are other things that you can use for example you can use this it's a baby sleeping bag that i was gifted so you put the baby inside there and uh, you zip it up and it's warm for the baby alternatively you can use the swaddle blanket the swaddle blanket the swaddle whatever it's like this so the baby fits inside here nicely and you tuck her especially when she's warm you know when when the baby is is uh, tiny sorry when the baby is tiny and you want to make her feel like she's in the womb you tie her with a swaddle blanket uh this is a favorite of rufus's <laughs> he likes this but when now ari is older we're not using it because she's really moving her hands but we sort of put it under her hands because it's nice because uh once you know how to use it there's a way uh, i can show you now but you'll be taught when you when you go and use it so she's very nice and tucked in that's the swaddle blanket uh, another thing you use of course when she's sleeping is uh you have to make sure you have a mosquito net in case your place has mosquitoes ours does uh so we use there are a couple of mosquito nets the kunazilo unafungia uko juu zinaanguka and there's one which i personally like is the one that like on her bed you sort of fit it uh, on her bed uh i don't know how to explain it. so you just fit it uh, it's like a it's a it's a square net so ni kama unavalisha kitanda net hivyo so that's the one i prefer or you can just use the one ya kutoka uko juu going down and yeah those are some of the things you need uh, in case i've forgotten anything uh, i wrote notes for you guys because i didn't want to forget anything but in case i forget those who are mummies please ensure that you comment uh, below the video yeah you'll need a waterproof for the mattress something that's waterproof a marking torch uh, just in case the baby wets the bed or you know you uh, and it leaks just anything in case it leaks just get something that's waterproof for the bed other things that uh you can have uh that 
if you're not on, a, on or if you're not very tight on cash you can use you can get like the bassinet the bassinet i think it's super cute because uh, you use it uh, in the sitting room but that's why you you use it until the baby is a couple of months yeah you can get the bassinet you can get the um, uh, there are a couple of sleeping items that people have this is the the one that you the baby sleeps and it's a net una lift too when you go to the baby shop you you're able to know so when the baby is sleeping you can just put it you can even uh, place it on the on the couch when you're sitting in the sitting room or when you're traveling with her you can just take that that the bed the sleeping thing that's flat and then it has a net so you just lift the baby in it there is uh, an option of there's a uh, there's one i saw that's a play pen there's one I saw that's a play pen, but it's also a bed and it's foldable. So you can actually carry it when you're traveling around and the baby has a bed on their own. So it's like a small bed where you put it on the, in the sitting room. Just have anything. I, 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 even, I even saw like uh, the stroller, if the ones that look like a bed. Just anything that you can use in, in case you don't want to be putting your baby in the bedroom all the time or you're traveling that you can carry or that's just just portable for the baby to sleep in if you are sitting room and you're watching something and the baby is resting just like the small bed the bassinet just something you can place the baby uh at when they're sleeping and you're moving around or in, in the sitting room uh, that's not an essential really you can always put the baby in their baby cot when they're sleeping so not an essential but it's nice having uh and then oh yeah i forgot to mention that uh if you're having a crib uh the first few months i personally we had the crib but i was never ever putting ari to sleep in the crib like uh i was paranoid especially when you're a new mom i used to have ari sleeping with us uh, so you can have a core sleeper there are several several options out there so you can just have something that just place ari on when she's sleeping on the same bed with you just she's so that she's separate or you can get there some core sleepers which is like a small bed but they they sort of attach to your already bed so there are beds where she's separately sleeping she's on a, a small bed but it's sort of it has an open place so it's sort of an extension of your bed that was, that is super useful so it's sort of like an extension so you place her she's not exactly on your bed but she's just right beside you you can get that uh yeah and those are some of the things that you use when she's sleeping now i will move on to the bathing essentials uh ari hated her bath time when she was born she used to cry the whole time her motion her she was just crying and hysterical you would think i don't know we are doing much to her right now she's enjoying well she's not enjoying she's just uh she's okay with it but yeah she'll start enjoying and when your baby starts enjoying the shower, the bath time is when you can now start buying things like uh, the bath toys uh like the two yellow ducks and something like that which the baby is able to grab or hold that's when you start buying such things uh when they're newborn you don't necessarily need the bath toys but you can just buy them just to be able to uh, train them in following things or just showing them colors and because they're not able to see color just to see and train them but there are other things you can use for that so you don't necessarily need necessarily need the bath toys so yeah the first thing you need when you're washing your baby is the bath the bath the basin or is it the, the i wanted to say bathtub the infant tub yes it's called an infant tub a basin a bucket depending on uh what you like if you're on a budget you don't need to buy them you can just get a like your normal the ones that you already have if you had a basin or if you had a bucket and just clean it very well with disinfectant and you're good to go and now i will i will recommend a, a bath a station i saw them being sold it's a nice and it's a tall if you have space it's nice and tall it's sort of so you don't have when you're washing the baby you don't have to bend you don't have to bend over uh, because you see again you're still healing your back is in pain so you can't necessarily bend and all that so the bath station is nice it's also it's, it, it serves also as a changing station where you can change your baby without having to bend down and washing the baby without having to bend down then on the sides it has uh, a couple of places where you can place you know the soap the oils the anything you're using for the baby so i would recommend that hands down it's like the best the bath station if not just get the infant tub get the ones with uh 
because the baby is new if you don't have someone to hold for you uh, and if you are afraid like me like i was and you don't have someone to hold for you or you can't wash the baby yourself things like this i've seen there is their bath net something uh, there's something like this you can use just to place the baby when you're washing them uh just to avoid them sleeping and also this is what we have and it came with this which is i like this thing it's just to unachota nao maji ukimwagilia love it so some of the things not necessary but you can have them they're good uh so yeah you just get the basin and if you're on a budget wash a nice clean one that you already have uh, of course you need this is a uh, washcloth you can get a couple they're good uh, then you'll need a hooded towel hooded is nice hooded is nice because of course anytime you wash your baby make sure you wash the baby's head because also the head uh, in a toka ngozi so you need to make sure it's clean and uh, you're washing it every time you're, you're, you're washing the baby so when you're washing the baby the hooded towel ukimfunika nayo the hooded towel inafunika pia nywele so iko sawa and it's it's a soft material if you're on a budget you don't need to buy the hooded towels uh, you can just get the normal towel or like a nice small towel nice you know just nice small towel that was in the house or something that just make sure it's nice and clean and is disinfected you can get a nice small towel uh, make sure that it's a good uh, material it's soft because the baby's skin is soft and sensitive and you can use it uh, when you're sh washing the baby uh, you'll need things like a brush like a nice soft brush i use this to wash her hair especially now that it's long uh, just to make sure like the skin in metoka so just use it uh, the the brush is nice uh, you can have the the comb to comb her hair with when you're washing i realized i, I used to i used to uh, comb harry's aries harry's aries hair when it's wet because it's easier to comb through so i used to use this uh you can get the okay what i did because there's this and this i got this as a gift it's the the toolkit so you can get like the tool, the, the whole toolkit that comes with a thermometer, that comes with a nasal aspirator. I've honestly never used this. Uh, that comes with scissors. You can use to cut the, the baby's hair or anything. And it comes with uh, where are they? It comes with the clippers to cut your baby's uh, hand. So the set it comes like that. I think it's this one is really like I don't know a couple of. Uh, like a thousand pop i think or so that this is what is essential this is what i've been using this is essential i have been using the brush the thermometer of course when you get like this this one when your baby is newborn you use it on her you put it inside her, her small butt her rectum her anus that's how you test a baby a baby's temperature alternatively you can have the the electric ones zile but nimeona ni video gani niliona po they are saying the Chinese ones, even when you remove the battery or something, it's still working. Anyway, but those ones are nice. The ones you just put place her, you don't even have, they don't have to touch her. So you can get the electrical ones. The electrical, sweetheart. The electrical, yeah. He's behind the camera over there. And the scissors maybe for her hair. These are the ones I've been using. Oh yeah, and the nail clippers. Hmm. And then also a file is nice. Uh, I feel like ukikata makucha zake and you just need to file them so that they don't have any sharp edges. So yeah, file is nice. And yeah, so these are, uh, put them in a nice bag. Uh, yeah, and these are what you use, of course, when you're, uh, when she's bathing. Uh, you'll need a heater. Uh, a lot of times when it's cold and of course you're removing all the clothes of the baby and you want to wash her, have a heater just to heat the room prior to washing her you don't want your baby getting sick especially when it's the cold season you uh, and, and depending on the time you wash her i wash ari in the evening and i trained her to be washing her at uh, seven usiku uh, just to make sure i'll be back from work so that i do it myself so just train your baby depending on the time you want to wash her you can do it once a day you can do it twice a day uh, just have a heater uh, for in case when it's cold so to warm up the room you'll need um mild soap or liquid there is the bath soap and there's liquid soap the one you prefer is uh, you can just choose the one you prefer i use the i've used both i don't mind both 
but I prefer the bar soap. I bought the bar soap and I stayed with it for like three months. At <laughs> Naisha. But yeah, the bar soap was nice. Get uh, the different brands. Get the one you prefer. Uh, you can get the baby ones. Just see the one that the baby is not reacting to. If you're on a budget, you can get the normal zile bar soap, zile panga, or I think those ones. You see those um, those uh, mild ones. Then you see has enough perfume. You know they're just nice and natural. You can use that to wash your baby. Just a baby just make sure you just watch your baby and see what she's reacting to and what she's okay with and yeah you can play around with a couple of things that are not essential so like i personally trained ari to be i, I wash her at uh, 7 pm usiku because uh, that's the time i'll i'm sure i'll be back from work just uh, to wash her because i want to wash her personally and then uh, also it's a it's part of my bedtime routine i recommend when you're putting your baby to bed make sure you have like a routine singing to her reading to her uh washing her so ari akioga ivi she blacks out within like a uh, few minutes she blacks out so i prefer washing her uh gioni so yeah so depending on the time you're washing her you'll need a heater so like me i need a heater most of the time because it's probably cold it's usually uh, cold or it's just uh, so I, uh, it's uh, a bit cool and and all that so i always use a heater at that time uh, unless it's specifically hot on that day uh you'll need a uh, baby soap uh depending there is liquid and there's bar i've personally used both uh you can use whichever one you like I like the bar soap because uh, it may cut three months. <laughs> it cut three months villa kuisha. But yeah, I, I like the the bar the bar soap. Yeah, but you can use the liquid. You can use uh, you can get shampoo if you like. There's shampoo for babies. Uh, I never use that because I just use the soap that I have. The one do inosha muli do inosha nyuele. So yeah, but if you want, you can get shampoo. Um, you can get also uh, you can get the baby the baby oil if you're on a budget the baby soap if you're on a budget chukwa to easy bath soap is a normal bath soap just look at what is reacting to your baby just uh, be observant just see what is reacting what is not and unendele ivo get baby oil i use shabata on ari so yeah that's what i i you this i use there are a couple of baby oils that you can use get um oil for her hair uh, I use coconut oil or almond oil. Kuna specific baby oil, I guess you can buy that if you want. You can try just uh, a couple of brands of moisturizers and see the one that you can afford and the one that is, suits your baby. Uh, ensure that we were told by our mother in laws, Una make sure when you're applying uh, baby uh, oil on her hair, make sure una, una paka apa utosis. Do you need to add this place? Apparently, because it's it's the one that the skull has not yet connected. Just make sure it's well moisturized after you wash her. There are two. They usually here and here. I think. Just make sure her head is well moisturized once you wash her. Get cotton. Uh, get a lot of cotton. I use cotton a lot, especially one if you plan to use cotton for changing your wiping your baby when you're changing her. I used. I personally used uh, baby wipes. But yeah, get a lot of cotton if you're using that. Cotton is also cheaper, I guess. Uh, compared to baby wipes so if you're, if you're on a budget get the cotton and just use cotton and warm water to wipe the baby when you're changing her uh, cotton is good when you're washing the baby just use cotton uh, to wash your baby's face uh, just get it uh, rinse the water out and just wipe the baby's face with cotton her eyes very sensitive you use cotton and just water cotton and water to wash your baby's eyes and the ears as well uh, you can get uh, earbuds but just you need to be careful so cotton is nice you can just roll roll up cotton and use it as as earbuds so cotton very essential when you're washing when you're using uh to uh when you're washing your baby so get lots of cotton uh get a, i've seen nowadays there is uh, these things the bath cup so it's sort of like this it's like a normal coffee like a sun coffee but like colorless in a it just makes sure it make it ensures that when you're washing the baby's hair Uki moga maji hayendi kwa uso. I personally didn't have that. It's not essential. You can just be careful when you're washing the baby or put like the baby's head in a particular position. So when you're washing her head, uh, you tilt her so it doesn't go into the eyes. But you can get that. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, what else? You can get uh, get um buckets or get just uh, buckets or basins to wash your baby's clothes. 
her clothes need to be washed separately from other people so make sure you have them you can get fabric softener uh don't i didn't get it for the first three months for the uh for ari because skin very sensitive you don't want any smells you don't want any anything irritating her skin at the beginning so you don't need to get the softener at this time so basically yeah so i think i will move on to a couple of other things i will move on to feeding essentials and uh yeah that's what i'll start with and a couple of course the first thing you need when you're feeding your baby is a uh, formula honestly let me tell you i've not used the feeding feeding uh, the things that i'm going to list that much because i've been doing exclusive uh, breastfeeding and i've been blessed because i've been able to have milk some uh Sometimes you're not able to, so I've had milk. I've been with Ari the uh, the whole time, and especially now because of the Corona thing, it's extended. So I've been able to breastfeed her, and she's now almost at five months. I've been able to breastfeed her all through. But in case you're leaving the house, or you can't breastfeed your baby, or you prefer not to breastfeed your baby, and you want to use formula, or even um, for me, like if I'm leaving the house and you're leaving the baby with someone, you will need a couple of these things. You, uh, that I'll, I'm going to list but there are some things you don't necessarily need now uh, especially when the baby is not yet uh, winning or she's not eating like uh, food food like uh, us things like uh, the blender or the, the Nutribullet the one you use to blend the baby's food you don't need that you don't need the feeding chair because you're not using the chair yet um, there are a couple of things a couple of feeding things that you don't need when you if you've not yet started you can buy them by dahe when your baby starts eating food uh, but uh, things like even a spoon you don't need it the baby the infant spoon you don't need it yet but there are people who prefer for example the the hospital i went to the nurse she was uh, the nutritionist i talked to she said uh, i should not use a bottle i can use the the feeding spoon like put the milk in a cup and just food feed the baby with a spoon because uh, it helps with uh, the just not destroying the teeth or whatever but that's that's not it's not necessarily true after i researched so things like that spoon you don't need yet because the baby is feeding from the bottle and then also from the from your boob or your breastfeeding yeah so there's a couple of things you don't need you can buy them if you have the ability but you don't necessarily need them if you're on a budget you can buy them when the baby starts feeding from around maybe to say four months or six months depending on what your preference is because uh, I, I may, I'm meant to believe some of my friends started earlier, especially those with boys. Boys wanna wanna karaka. So you start feeding them earlier. So yeah, you can start buying some of these things when they start feeding. So yeah, the first thing you need of course is the feeding bottle. Ensure you check the age of the of the feeding bottle. There are those ones for uh, specifically for newborns, the nipple. So uh, so make sure you get a bottle that is specifically for newborns until a particular age don't get the ones that six months just make sure anything you buy make sure it is age appropriate most of this and uh, most of the time when you're buying where you're buying from they advise you so get the bottle that is age appropriate get formula if you're planning to feed uh, your baby with formula get for uh, long uh, long enough I think talk to your nutritionist or anyone you meet at the hospital to advise you on the which the best formula to use. I think nowadays I was told when I went to the uh, to the clinic that there are, there are brands that other babies prefer more, the others that they don't like. So get advice on which uh, brand to buy. Um, have a sterilizer for your bottles. You can either sterilize your bottles or you can boil them. I was using a sterilizer because it's easier because you see boiling you will need the bottles to boil uh, in the water as the water is boiling you need them in sometimes I was told that they destroy the bottle so I was just preferring a sterilizer so it's like a tablet or I think it's in liquid form I prefer the tablets it, it, it's easier to it's easier to measure because it's just the water and just one tablet so yeah I prefer the tablet so you just put your bottles there for a couple of minutes 15 minutes they have instructions and your bottles are good to go so those are some of the things that you prefer, you can use. You don't need a sterilizer if you're on a budget. You can just boil your bottle. Yeah. Uh, you'll also need a bottle cleaning brush. Looks like this. Uh, there are bigger ones. I guess there are smaller ones. Uh, because sometimes you're not able to reach into your bottle, the baby's bottle to the feeding bottle to wash it. 
with your hands so you don't want your baby getting sick because the milk it can stick to the walls just make sure you have this bottle cleaning brush then there's a this smaller one that's used to wash the nipple uh, of the bottle so like that yeah so very nice especially if you are using bottles a lot you need to uh, you will need um, uh, I've seen a couple of people using the bottle warmer uh, and I read somewhere that the bottle warmer takes the same amount of time to warm you know, the baby's milk as hot water. So yeah, if you feel like being fancy, which there is no problem, you can get the bottle warmer. Alternatively, you can just warm the baby's milk in, in, in hot water and it works just as well and I read that it takes the same amount of time. So if you're on a, if you're on a budget, you don't need the bottle warmer. Then you need, um, you'll need, uh, of course, uh, uh, what are they called? These bibs. You'll need the uh, the cotton bibs. Uh, I do not like. Let me tell you the ones I prefer. Get cotton cotton bibs. I don't like this. I don't know if you can hear. It's making a sound. I don't know if you can hear. I don't like those. Get cotton ones. Like this. It was, I, I, they're more preferable, I love food, they are more, like they are better with the baby, like when the baby is moving, they're not making sounds, you know. This I love particularly, uh, that my friend brought for me, because the baby wears it on her chest like that, and then you tie it back, and then her hands go through here. So like her whole place, like her whole her body is very well protected, love this one, like it's perfect, if you can get like this one very nice uh if you have to use the ones like this one that make noise get this one that has a soft material it does not make sounds this it's nice soft for the baby i love this i like this and i like this just get the cotton ones they are better for me um you can use uh, whichever other ones you prefer get uh this it's a uh, it's called a uh, you can get bath clothes because of course when you feed after you feed your baby you need to bath her and uh, some babies they they spit up once they, they you bath them but this is what these liners let me tell you these liners have come in handy because i use them uh, when i'm changing her i'll show you next so this is what i use to wipe the baby in case she has spit up to do anything to wake layer here when i want to bath her but i never used to really spit up so i used to use this just have lots of this they're like i think 50 ball, i think yeah but they're very handy you can use them to do anything to wipe the baby anywhere to do anything just i love this i never got bab clothes uh bab uh clothes yeah i never used to so i use the liners uh you can get um pla uh, yes you can get plastic storage just get storage this is what baba ari got for us and i love it because when you when you're sterilizing the them for the the, the of your baby's bottles you can put them somewhere like this and sterilize them here when you've cleaned your baby's uh bottles or anything that she uses you can store them here like this is handy we've used it for so many things you can get bigger ones you can get smaller ones and you need to separate your baby's um things the utensils that she uses but you can put them here so this is handy this works for us so you can just get whichever variation you're able to get for yourself yeah uh, and then uh you can get of course uh, you'll need storage bags and storage cups once you express your milk once you pump it out you'll need to store it so you'll need the cups or the bags to put them in the fridge or the freezer uh and uh, you'll need an insulated carrier i don't know if i have it here uh, the carrier you use it when you're tra when you're traveling and uh, you need to uh, carry the bottle and you need it to stay warm or to stay at, at a certain temperature the thermal carrier makes sure makes sure that it stays at that particular temperature and um, i guess that's it for the feeding essential i don't know if i've forgotten anything uh yeah and finally what you will need when you're feeding your baby especially when you're out of the house when you're inside the house you don't need this uh because unless you have now visitors because once you start breastfeeding your baby the first few months 
there's a just a lot they feed a lot i never i used to walk around the house with my boob out because you never know whether your boob is out or in you just never know there's a day carpet for women lango to strangers when my boob is out you just don't realize when you're a new mom so much to do baby's feeding all the time so yeah when you're traveling when you're in public or you have visitors you can use uh, this is a nursing pillow or a uh, nursing cover sorry which was also a gift uh, there are different variations i particularly love love i'm in love with this one because let me show you uh, of course there's a place to adjust here uh, and then so you wear it and then you see it has this place it's uh, some plastics i think inside so when your baby is inside here i don't know if you can see if your baby is inside here you can still look at her and monitor what she's doing because of this space so if you're able to get like this one oh i recommend it it's so perfect it was a gift so yeah plus it's really cute don't you think yeah so like that and you watch your baby feeding you can look at her you can make faces at her the others I've seen are like like that, so just whatever you get is okay. If you're on a budget, you don't need this. You can use a shawl, uh, just something to cover yourself. Um, and that's it on the feeding essentials, I think. Uh, then I'll move on into diaper, diapering when you're changing your baby. First thing, I think I had mentioned this uh, on our video uh, of the new mom. You will need. A small bag this bag is very handy gift as well uh, you put you put your wet wipes here you will put your your diapers here you will put your uh, moisturizer here you can put your nipple cream just basically everything you need to uh, change your baby and anything that you need to be applying like nipple cream or uh, moisturizer for your baby uh, just anything you can put them in this bag and they're not scattered so it's nice to even just move around with it you move around with it uh, in the house so you just this is nice just a small bag then of course you will need um, you will need the changing mat I like this one because I don't know it looked uh, on the, from the photos I saw it looks like a nice card bag so I got this one plus it's nice and small yeah, so this is the changing mat that I got. Um, of course, when you're changing your baby, you'll need diapers. Uh, you will need uh, baby wipes or cotton when you're using, uh, depending on what you prefer to use. I used cotton for like a week and then I started using baby wipes. So I'll show you the brand I use because um, it was actually my friend who got me this brand. And then we saw that it doesn't react with Ari. So she, uh, since she was a newborn, um, you can use this. It's called Sleepy Sensitive. It smells amazing. Oh, but it smells like heaven. I think uh, the, I got my friend got me like two packets or three packets. They really worked with Ari. They never, I never had issues with her. And then yeah, Baba Ari got more for me. Ulipata I think Alibai. I think he got them from Biashara Street. So a shop there. They're called Sleepy. Sleepy Sensitive. They were amazing on Ari. And they still are. And they smell so good. So, so, so good. And yeah, when you're changing her, what I use, you, you get also moisturizer. Definitely. The small bag. And then you get uh, diaper rash ointment in case your baby gets uh, diaper rash. Ari did when uh, we got some diapers. She was okay with them for the first two weeks. And then she reacted and she got a rash and then um get powder i never use powder uh powder is good for drying the baby once you use the wipe the wipe you use the powder to dry her and for her to dry faster so you can use the diaper but guess what was i was using i used to dry her even now the liners see so once i i, I wipe her with the the wet wipes i use liners to just clean her and dry her up and that's why i love liners so I never use the powder. Then you need to get, uh, basically I think that's it. On um, on the changing, what you need to for the, the changing essentials. On the diaper, the diaper, the things you use for the diaper changes. Uh, I'll move on to when you're taking your baby out. 
uh, of course there is a stroller that I mentioned earlier that you can that can double up depending on the, there are different strollers that have a base where the baby can be flat and nice and comfortable it can double up as a bed in the sitting room I don't know if it's advisable but you can double up as a bed at the sitting room area then you can use it to take your baby out then some of them are also car seats of course so you need a car seat to fix in the car and when you're carrying your baby uh, a stroller is not necessary if you're on a budget and uh, if you will not be taking your baby out on walks you can always just carry her so it's really not a necessity then you need of course a diaper bag i got this one i love this one because it has this insulator part over here that you can put the bottles and they stay warm and you can put any cot any wet things i used to carry i used to put wet cottons because sometimes uh Ari, we go somewhere and i need to wipe her so i used to put wet cottons here so it's nice it has like a million pockets inside here i don't know if you can see but it has a million pockets and two things i love about it so in case your bag is nice is very very full it has this zip over here for things you can get things from down here in case your bag is full and then also it has this place for the wipes i've only i've honestly never used this place but i i bought it part of the reason i bought it was because of here so if you put like your wipes inside here you can just pick them out without having to you know remove them nice nice right so just get a nice bag uh, i like this one also because i can carry it as a backpack so if you're alone and you're carrying the baby you can just have it as a backpack you can also carry it like that so there are very many variations um of these you can just get uh the one that you like or the one that's affordable to you uh there are different ones there are the ones that have a range like they're big small whatever just get one with a lot of pockets and compartments so that you're able to put different things different uh times another thing you will need when you're going out is uh what you are using is a baby carrier let me show you this just make sure you get one that's for newborns baba ari specifically loved this one because yeah you just wear it on you here here and the baby is here this is nice it has like a perfect back and neck support because when your baby is a uh, newborn you need to support their back and their neck they're not sitting they're not you know so this has a good uh it's hard here so it's back and neck so you hold her you can alternatively use a wrap mm. i've seen i don't have uh, you can use a wrap to just wrap the baby around you and you can carry her easily when you're going out okay, uh, something you need also when you're going out is the foldable crib or that cup the bed that folds i've forgotten that name anyway those that there's a bed that you can have that folds so when you're going out or when you're going somewhere or when you're going somewhere to sleep for a sleepover or like on a holiday and you have your baby you can just fold your bed and carry the bed with you so yeah those are some of the things uh there are a couple of things that are not necessary but they are nice to have so i call them nice to have there's a baby rocker you can have that uh the different variations there's the electric one there's the normal one that you can just use there's one that sings lullabies so there are different uh, uh, things that you can have rockers not not an essential but you can have it there's the drawer or the chest there are even cribs that come with the uh, additional storage space because you need storage space for your baby's clothes uh, just to put them separately from everyone else's if you don't have the space for if you don't have space for the extra uh, chests drawers or uh, the dresses you can have something like this my friend got me this and you can put the baby's clothes just inside here as long as it's nice and clean so yeah so you don't need the if you don't have space you and you can't have you can just get this or just anything a kikapu somewhere we can just separate the baby's clothes uh have a uh, people with uh, big houses it will be nice to have a baby monitor especially if the baby is not sleeping close to you they are handy but let me tell you uh, once you're a mom uh like i'm not a heavy sleeper i always uh, feel if, in case someone opens the door and i'm asleep uh, but even my brother is it men is it all men is it all men with like a heavy sleepers i don't know anyway i'm not a heavy sleeper so uh, but once i got early and you just get a couple of hours of rest you really sleep 
heavily but once your baby is moving hivi amosikia tu ameongea tu hivi kidogo let me tell you tamsikia baby moves does anything it's just i don't know mother instinct or i don't know you'll just hear your baby moving but if you're in a big house uh, get the monitor or if your baby is sleeping in a different room other than yours or if she's sleeping where she uh, away from you bali get the baby monitor it's nice to have thing if you're having a girl like me you can get things like uh, the headbands it's nice to have but i honestly never used this uh, when ari was up to ari being let's say three months because you want your baby's comfort but you can have them in case they are visitors or you are doing you want to do like a photo shoot you can have like the headbands not necessary just nice to have uh, you can have a bottle uh, when you're you're you're, when you're washing after you wash your baby's bottles you can have like a drying rack for the bottles for the babies separately uh, not essential uh, but yeah uh, those are some of the things i i think you need to have a you know nice and uh, good they are essentials for your baby so i'll repeat them there are clothes which i talked about there is uh, i've talked about clothes make sure again I'll, I'll emphasize clothes don't spend so much just get enough clothes just make sure that uh, the clothes are enough because mtoto atavangua and once twice ameacha kwanza there are others unamwekea sijui ni sunday best ama sijui atavaa when there are visitors the next time you go look at them that as you call as in to share anymore like their clothes like at about so just make sure your clothes are enough um get affordable ones uh you can get a couple of cute expensive outfits if you you can get hand me downs uh i'd say uh if you if you want new, just new ones uh get isich kakunji affordable prices uh you can get them at um gikomba toy if you want second hand or Biashara Street has a couple of options. Yeah. Um, now uh, I've said also you the feeding essentials. I've said the sleeping essentials, the diaper bags that you need, uh, the things that you need for your diaper, and basically the nice things to have, and that's it. So that and uh, that's it. I'll a couple of things you don't need at this time. For for example, the feeding chairs, the play mats. Play mats you need when she's, uh, you know, she, the baby is able to grab and all that. So you don't need some of those things, but you can still have them if you're able to. And yeah, so I'll move on to the mom, because uh, as a mom, you also need to take care of yourself when the baby comes. So there are a couple of uh, of things that you require, and I'll start with the nursing pillow. There are a couple of vari vari variations, ah, variations, variations of pillows. Uh, I like this one. Sita, please pass me that. This is the one I have and that I use. This one. You need it uh, because just to support your the ba the baby's weight and uh, for her comfort, for your comfort to put your knees, uh, your hands there. So I use this. It's nice. It's adjustable. See, so you can put the baby's head. It's, you can adjust it. Yeah uh yeah there's this uh there's this option as well so you just wrap this around your waist and there the, i love this it was a gift but i'm i'm tall so uh when i put her area here she was too below low so i need something that was up up because i'm tall so there's this uh if you're not able to afford any of that please Feel free to use a normal pillow. It will help you. You know, uh, I love this. I love this pillow. Guess okay, how cute is this? I stole it from my mom. Mom, hi mom. You can stop looking for it now. <laughs> so yeah, you can just use a normal pillow to nurse your baby. You need nursing bras. There are two types. There is these ones that open there, like that. So they open over here. And there are those that open up here. Uh, where is it? Here. So it sort of opens like that. I prefer this type because you see when you're wearing your clothes like that, you just open this one over here. This one you'll just need to. This one you need to uh, sort of like uh, reach. You need to sort of reach down your top. 
to be able to open this depending on what you're wearing so i usually prefer this for the top and now i wore this top specifically just to show you if you're able to get uh, nursing tops please get them they're super they're just helpful you don't even have to wear a bra because they, they're like two 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 sided so you don't even have to wear a bra so you see nursing tops just open like that see how easy this is then you feed your baby and then you just place it back so if you're able to get such tops this was a gift i didn't know how <gasps> heaven sent this was it's perfect it's amazing so i just wore this to show you that get nursing tops if you are able to get get like millions okay get like a good amount of the nursing tops uh they are good uh, nurse, uh then get um, uh what the nursing pads there are two types of uh there are two types of nursing pads these these ones the, these ones are disposable ones these ones are disposable ones so you just remove this sticker here sticker here and just stick them to your bra like that stick them to your bra then they yeah of course uh, i think self-explanatory then there are these ones in case you're on a budget those ones are uh disposable ones these ones i've never used these these ones are the washable ones the washable they are like cotton they're washable ones uh i would i would recommend the disposable ones if you're able to afford because of a hygiene so you just put them on and uh, once you you wear them like for a day or, or even some hours just throw them away i would recommend those i've never used these ones even but yeah you'll need a, a breast pump uh guess i would recommend an electric one but if you're not able to get a manual one because uh, the manual one is a lot of work though because you have to keep on doing this the electric one is uh is simpler to use it's better but if you're not able to afford it you can just get the manual one if you're not able to afford any of those you can use your hands you can use your hands our mothers used to use our hands in fact our mothers my mom and my mommy uh, my mom and uh, my mom's uh, my mom in love uh, both of them think that parenting is very easy on us they were using uh, uh, not diapers they were using the clothes i can't remember them and they never used to have such things they were just using their hands so if you are not able to afford your hands works just as fine so yeah have a small uh, flannel uh, so that when you're pumping you just use hot water and uh, massage your breast with it it helps the warm water it helps to uh, make the process simpler for you easier and i think the milk comes out faster because for example like when i was showering and taking a hot shower and your boob is full it will just automatically start to leak so i think the warm temperature helps with the uh, the expression of the milk and it's good so massage your breast with it uh, get nipple cream of course because uh, the first few weeks your nipples are gonna be sore because you're not used to someone sucking on them every uh few hours every single day for the next one year or two years so they're going to be so you'll get used to it by i think the first at most one month but get the nipple cream for the first few uh weeks i will recommend a nipple cream that you uh there's there's a brand that you that brands i think you can use where they are organic they use organic um they're organic uh creams so you don't have to wipe your boob when you're feeding the baby so when you just apply and then, then the next time you're feeding your baby you don't have to wipe it off then uh because it's organic then there are those that you have to wipe off before feeding the baby but you see at night and you know and you're wiping sometimes you'll even forget just i would recommend that you get the one that you don't need to wipe off after you apply the organic one then i'll go to self-care for you as a mom all those i think involved the baby so for you to help with your healing and you know just your sanity where well, after the delivery uh get a seat's bath this is what a seat's bath is seats is like that s-i-t-z bath this this is what it is this one you just place it uh what you're sitting your loo when you're sitting on your loo uh the sitting place for your toilet you just put it inside so you see it has this so you just fill it with 
you fill it with uh, uh, warm water with salt and then in case it's full you see if you sit and it's full it has these holes which uh, the water will just go into your toilet this is amazing i'm telling you this is a savior because you won't be stressed siju kweka stool na basin na nina nini the seats but perfect just sit very easy to sit it's just like sitting in the loo so this is amazing and then this is the it comes with this where you can just put hot water and this so it it, it refreshes it puts uh, warm water and so in case the water gets cold this puts it you can also use it for like steam baths in future i've seen those um, uh, when you're taking care of uh, down there you can use it to steam yeah so that's it the for the seats but another thing you will need is uh maternity panties uh i never finished choosing mine because uh because my friend advised me i mentioned in a new mom video to get like comfortable cotton pants the the mother's union and they are better in even holding the maternity pad pads you need the maternity pads the hospital gives you but buy your own for the period you'll be at home so the maternity pads look like this pants pants look like this uh, they are different sizes it's just like linen because you dispose them after you can use them for the first few days but uh, time you can delay it's just get the cotton pants just nice fitting uh, comfortable air, air, air ones that you you are able to breathe the air most freely get those ones I would recommend those, uh, the cotton ones. Uh, you can get dark colors because you're bleeding. Uh, the other thing you'll need is the pads I've said and comfortable clothing. You'll need comfortable clothing a lot, a lot, a lot. Get diras, get pregnancy, maternity wear. Uh, get. I have been wearing tights since I delivered tights and like just uh, nice tops. Get those. Uh, make sure you have comfortable clothing. You don't want to go to be uncomfortable the first few especially during the first few weeks when you're healing you need to be as comfortable as com as, as possible get good materials get cotton get silk get satin just be comfortable and take care of yourself finally uh you if you want to you can tie your tummy so get a corset i was told that lesser is better i tried uh mini kachoka i should i think i should go back i'm in the gym send your sweetheart Nianzi ile gym. Mm. Ile gym. So, anyway, yeah. Basically that. Uh and that's it. I think baby Ari is crying. Let me go and see what the problem is. But that's it for the essentials. Thank you for watching. Uh in case I've forgotten anything, um you can just write it down there or if I remember I'll write it in our description. Um and yeah, that's it for newborn essentials. And I hope uh, it's been uh, useful for the new moms, new dads, uh, anyone who wants to gift, gift their friend or their child or, or whatever. And um, anyone who's expecting their baby, I wish you a safe delivery and that you will continue carrying your baby safely. And for people who aspire to be moms, I wish you the best of luck. And for moms, uh, we are strong. Let's continue going uh, through this journey. We are superheroes. Uh, and I would like to encourage even the dads who are doing this with their baby, uh, with their wives. They're super. Be supportive to your wife. Single dads, uh, thank you for you guys out there. <laughs> Continue uh, supporting your kids and really everyone who's taking care of their baby. Uh, thank you and bye. Ari is very hysterical. I need to rush. Bye, guys.